Hey there, it's Bill with BarbecueTricks.com. You may have seen a recent video I posted, a, a barbecue pizza with a, believe it or not, a cauliflower crust. Well, I've lost 55 pounds doing a plan called Medi Weight Loss. You can see them at MediWeightLoss.com, M-E-D-I WeightLoss.com. Pretty good. I've been dabbling with low-carb meals, and you know I love a fried pork chop. So I came up with a fried pork chop recipe. But to make it, you need this gadget here, and it's not a real barbecue gadget. It's the Big Boss Oilless Fryer. Today, for the pork skin pork chops, this is what you're going to need. First, the Big Boss 16-quart oilless fryer. Next, one bag of pork skins. And I say, go ahead and get the barbecue-flavored pork skins, the real puffy kind. One tablespoon ground black pepper, one tablespoon garlic powder, a tablespoon cayenne pepper. I like it spicy. Four to six thick-cut pork chops, an egg, some olive oil spray if you got it, and my little secret addition is Bakos. It's uh, it's not meat. It's actually, it's like a soy product, but it's pretty good for low carb. And I really like that it adds a little extra crunch to this faux fry crust. And here's how you make that crust. It starts with the bakos and the pork rinds. Oh, this is the good part. Crush them up into a fine powder. Then pour that into a mixing bowl. Add the black pepper, garlic, cayenne. Blend it all up with the bakos as well. Then beat one of the eggs in a small bowl, add a little bit of water, and then you just dredge, you dip them, dredge them, dredge them in the crumb mixture, coat them on all sides, and when you're done, spritz the chops with a little olive oil and put it on the higher rack that they give you with the boss. It's like a wire basket provided with the big boss. So take the higher one and place them on that carefully. That's pretty much it. You plug the big boss in, set the temperature at about 400 degrees, and Set the timer for 16 to 18 minutes. You turn the pork chops halfway through. Make sure you use a meat thermometer. I like to do that to check for doneness. Pork should be at least 145 internal temperature. But that's about it. Chops should come out crispy. And really, you look at them, it's unbelievable. I like the bacos in it. Try it for yourself. You got questions, comments, leave them on the website in the comments below. For more tips, tricks, other fun stuff, www.barbecuetricks.com